Hi and welcome to the third tutorial in our series on how to create a survival game and in this episode I've purchased the survival pack from the asset store and that's from Lucien Pavel who's actually one of the guys at Winterbite it's a standalone asset pack that's got a lot more items, weapons basically it's a big pack full of assets that can help us build our survival game so I want to put one of these new tools that I picked up in this asset and use it with the existing arms and animations that we got in Ultimate Survival. So that basically makes it really easy to get anything from the asset store or build anything ourselves and put it in to Ultimate Survival without needing to worry about animations or loading up in Blender or pretty much doing anything fancy. So uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so we're back inside Unity and I've downloaded the Survival Pack and if I go to pack and then tools you can see all these different tools that you get in the kit so something that's going to be a bit different is the saw blade so that looks pretty cool look at that that's vicious so let's go back into here and find the axe because that's the one that's pretty much what I'm going to be based on as I did last time I don't know if you guys know better than me but I've unhiding the axe, here it is, and I'm going to duplicate, go back and hide the axe again, and I'm going to call this one number 15 because it's the next one on the list, and I'll call this one saw blade, which goes, well that's what it's called here, saw blade, so it makes sense. So now I'm going to go to ultimate survival up here, don't worry about this, we'll come back to it later, and we'll go to item management, find tools, and axe pretty much is the one that's going to be based off like we did up here so I'll click on the axe and I'll click um, shift D to duplicate like it says here and we'll rename this saw blade we'll find the icon for our saw blade here's our saw blade icon we got with the kit uh, one in the stack only our description would be Crazy, oops, I've got a load of updates going on in Unity in the background. So, every now and again, you can have to ignore that. So, rename this to what I'll put here in the description Crazy Saw Blade that can be used to chop up people or chop down trees. Use and I'll make that look nice there. So, is it placeable? No, it's not placeable because it's a, it's a tool that we're carrying around. Is it craftable? Yeah, let's leave it the same as the other one was. It takes 25 seconds to craft. It uses four sticks and six metal fragments. Well, it's a big stick with a saw blade on it, so that sounds about right. And that's all we have to do here in the item management. So let's close the item management and go back to our saw blade and as you know, we always have to put object name here, saw blade. So, so far so good. Now, just to be safe, I'm going to drag in the model and I'm going to drag in the pivots. So, you want to open up the saw blade and here's the axe, the current one and open up the armature let's I think it's in root it's in the right hand and you see this weapon so what I did I want basically I'm going to drop this saw blade here on the weapon so um, here we go so which one's this one this is the world this is our model let's um, let's just chuck this one in so, so here, put it here, drag it next down, I find you, here you go, let's reset the position, okay, that wasn't a clever thing to do, so let's change the rotation, oops, so 180, no, so that 2, 60. Let's 
facing the wrong way. So, which one are we going to change around there? And scale is crazy. I contacted Lucien and asked after after I bought this and I saw this earlier. He says it's updating the asset on the asset store. So there'll be a fix in the next update to basically put the scale correct. But when I was mucking about, I figured. 0.45 or was it 5? That's a bit too small. So let's change that to 5. It's about half the size that it should be. Okay, that's not too bad. And let's move it into position. Okay. And let's rotate it. I basically want it to look the same as the other one. And it is a case of just aligning it up so that it looks pretty much the same. Hi. Mm, let's make that a little bit bigger. And can everyone please avoid any that's what she said jokes? So, here we go. Every now and again, I go a bit quiet. I keep forgetting I've got a microphone on me and my brain tries to work out things. It, still trying to master the speaking and doing things at the same time. It's a skill. It's an art. Now, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to hide the other axe. And now, our guy has got this axe. Now, there's the other thing that we used to do like we did last time. Go back to the saw blade and put it on the layer for first person. Otherwise, it'll be floating about in the air. So, that's pretty good. I like it. Now we want to drop in this um, the pickup. So, I'm going to go into my prefab. I've got here my graphics folder that I made before and I've got prefabs. So I'm just going to drag this over. We're holding down Alt. So I've got that little plus and Let's find it. Where, where are you? This is my magic folder full of things. So, where, can anyone see it? Your eyes better than mine? There it is, Sawblade. So, I'm going to rename this one to Sawblade Pickup. Ah, let's put a capital P. And let's add here the item woo, item pickup handler so this is going to be a very quick tutorial and then everything's downloaded nice another update uh, we're going to have this on an interact it's going to be what do we call it a saw blade and I want to I always like having a noise pickup bag pickup so um, it's probably still too big, so 0 0.6, 0 point, oops, fingers got a bit excited, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, because that's what we did before, and let's put that back to zero, because it's laying on the floor, and it doesn't have a collider on there, so I'm just going to put a simple box collider, lovely. Um, and I'm going to hang on let's drag that back over here and delete delete the other one I know you guys have got better ways of doing things you cannot undo this action, ok because I just added the box collider on the one in my scene rather than the one in the game, so there we go. Now we've got, 
from the menu we made our saw blade we added the axe but we've got the wrong pickup here so let's hang on hold on Unity decrypts another package, thank you Unity. So let's saw blade pick up. Ah, it's still got a bloody name in there. Why are you doing that? Okay, so I hate it when that happens. So here we go. That's better. So we've got a saw blade, we've got its new icon, we've got its name, we've attached here the pickup to it. It's, we've got it in our scene. We've added the saw blade where we've copied the axe, duplicated it, and we added in the saw blade there. Let's hide it. Okay, I'm going to save just in case anything scary happens. So, just before we push play, I just want to show you on the FP Tools script down at the bottom, it's got here the three audio files that we've got. We're going to play the sound is a three size array wish 1, wish 2, wish 3, so these are the noises that plays when we miss and it's sound type for chop because it's going to be it's a chopping tool and down here we've got the tool purpose it's one size array that's just used to cut wood but look at the size of this, thing. let's up this to 2 and choose also that it can be used to break rocks later we could add more fancy code that says if you use a tool on the wrong type of material that it might even break the tool so if you try to chop down the tree with your pen knife it will snap the blade on your pen knife for now let's click play and let's go inside here it is on the floor let's pick it up now we added that box collider before which meant that now we can interact with it if we didn't have that collider on this object you wouldn't be able to pick it up so let's pick it up with the E tab let's click on it in our inventory we can see it says saw blade crazy saw blade that can be used to chop up people or chop down trees, nice it's got the icon there, that's the icon we've got we have Lucian Pebbles kit from the asset store looks very nice and let's drag it into our inventory, I'm putting it into slot 2 so we can see the animations when I equip it so animates in, it's unequipped and it goes away now we didn't have to do any extra work, we've just inherited all of the animations that we got with the axe and if we swing wildly I'm not sure if you can hear the whoosh it's whooshing you can hear the different types of whooshes mixes it up a bit and if I go up to something that we can hit with a collider it's inherited the axes chopping noise and decal effects so that's it there's our Winchester from before so in this tutorial we've basically got ourselves any asset, any type of object from the asset store, we even made one ourselves if we wanted, cloned in, duplicated the axe that you got with Ultimate Survival, which had the animations, and we just dropped it in, and that's it. So you could do anything you wanted. We could judge, you could change that to be pretty much anything you want. So that's it for now. So I'm going to go and uh, put in some trees and rocks to, to mine, and I'll see you in the next video.